Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on realism and questions. Dear TRB candidates as well as net education candidates, I am sure these topics will be of great help to you in cracking net or TRB exams. I have particularly I have particularly taken pains to prepare for TRB education, especially for descriptive questions. I'm sure if you go through these descriptive answers, that will be very helpful to answer any type of question in that topic in TRB exam. So that way, I'm sure you will be profiting a lot out of this video lecture. Continue to watch my videos. Topic by topic, I want to give along with questions also. I'm sure you will be having a great feast to your ears and a great feast to your mind in order to chew it so happily. So let us enter into the topic Realism and Education. Realism and Questions. Realism is a Western philosophical school of thought that asserts the existence of the external world independent of human perception. It emphasizes that reality is objective and it can be known through the senses and reason. In education, realism focuses on imparting knowledge that is based on the reality of the natural world and it is grounded in observable facts. What are the key contributions of realism to education? That is the question that will be asked in TRB education. Emphasis on objective knowledge. Realism emphasizes on objective knowledge. Realism stresses the importance of teaching knowledge that reflects the real world. It encourages education based on facts, scientific truths, and very verifiable knowledge, making students aware of the physical world around them. And also, in realism, curriculum is based on reality. Realist educators advocate for a curriculum that includes subjects like science, mathematics, and history, as these subjects deal with objective truths that are part of the external reality, that is the world. Subjects like philosophy and the arts may be included, but are approached through the lens of the real world experience and practical relevance. Please mark these words. Subjects like philosophy and the arts may be included, but they will be approached through the lens of the real world experience and practical relevance. What is the role of the teacher in realism? In realism, the teacher's role is uh, very crucial. The teacher is seen as an expert who presents a factual knowledge, guides students in understanding reality, and helps them acquire knowledge through direct experience, observation, and reasoning. Teaching methods like experiments, fieldwork, and demonstrations are preferred. Realism develops a critical thinking in the students. Realism encourages the development of logical thinking and reasoning skills. Students are taught to observe the world around them, question assumptions, and come to conclusions based on evidence fostering intellectual development. So how it develops critical thinking? Students are taught to observe the world around them, question assumptions or principles in the world, and come to conclusions based on evidence fostering intellectual development. Let us talk about the special reference to information, knowledge, and wisdom uh, that this realism holds. How, how does realism see information, knowledge, and wisdom? Information. In the realist uh, framework, information refers to factual data about the world. 
realistic education focuses on providing accurate and reliable information about the natural world and society and human behavior. It values the accumulation of factual knowledge that is rooted in reality and it can be verified. The reality can be verified. So once again I say how do realists see information? In the realist framework information refers to factual data about the world. Realist education focuses on providing accurate and reliable information about the natural world, society and human behavior. It realism values the accumulation of factual knowledge, in other words, gathering of factual knowledge that is rooted in reality and that knowledge can be verified. How do realists see knowledge, view knowledge? Knowledge according to realism is more than just information. It involves understanding the relationships between facts and drawing conclusions based on objective reality. In education, this means helping students understand not just the isolated pieces of data, but the broader patterns and principles that organize this information. So that is what happens in education according to realism. Helping students understand not just the isolated pieces of data, but the broader patterns and principles that organize this information. How do realism view wisdom? Wisdom in the realist tradition is the ability to apply knowledge to real world situations effectively. It involves, wisdom involves understanding the deeper principles behind facts and using that understanding to make a sound decisions in life. Realistic education therefore aims to equip students with not only knowledge but also the wisdom to navigate and uh, make informed decisions in the real world. So realism equips students with uh, the wisdom to understand the world and to get informed and to make informed decisions in the real world. In summary, realism Contrib contributes to education by promoting an understanding of the external world based on objective facts and observable phenomena. Realism values the transmission of reliable information, the acquisition of knowledge through reason and the cultivation of wisdom through the practical application of that knowledge in everyday life. So that is the idea here. Now let us uh, analyze some of the questions related to realism. Very important questions uh, in a way. What is the primary focus of realism in education? A. Subjective experiences. B. Spiritual development. C. Objective reality. D. Imagination. What is the primary focus of realism in education? That is objective reality. Realism emphasizes the understanding of the world as it exists, as it is, as it exists focusing on facts and observable phenomena. So I think you must understand what is objective reality here. Understanding the world as it exists, focusing on facts and observable phenomena. According to realism, knowledge is based on which of the following? A. Personal opinions. B. Scientific and very verifiable facts. C. Supernatural beliefs. D. Intuition. So what is the correct answer? Scientific and very verifiable facts. According to realism, knowledge is based on scientific and verifiable facts. Realism promotes knowledge that can be verified through observation and reason, focusing on scientific truths. In realism, the role of the teacher is best described as what? A. A facilitator of discussion, a transmitter of factual knowledge, a spiritual guide, a motivator of creative, creativity. Uh, it is a transmitter of factual knowledge. The role of the teachers is best described as a transmitter of factual knowledge. Teachers in realism are seen as experts who impart factual, objective knowledge to students. Which subject is most likely emphasized in a realist curriculum? A. Dance, B. 
B. Literature C. Mathematics D. Mysticism Mathematics So, mathematics is most likely emphasized in a realist curriculum. Why? Mathematics is based on objective truths, making it highly valued in a realist curriculum which prioritizes subjects grounded in reality. So, mathematics is very objective. So that is why it is preferred in realism. Which of the following is a teaching method preferred by realist? A. Storytelling B. Meditation C. Experiments D. Role Play So, which of the following is a teaching method preferred by realist? That is experiments. Realist value methods like the experiments where students can observe and learn from the real world directly. What does wisdom represent in the context of realism? A. Memorizing facts B. Applying knowledge to real world situations C. Accumulating information D. Personal growth through creativity So, what does wisdom represent in the context of realism? That is applying knowledge to real world situation that is called wisdom according to realism applying knowledge acquired knowledge by observing the world as it is and it is getting applied in real world situations so what is wisdom according to realism applying knowledge to real world situations realism values the wisdom as the practical application of knowledge to solve the real life problems in realism, what is considered the foundation of knowledge? A. Intuition B. Faith C. Observation and Reasoning D. Emotional Experiences So, what is considered the foundation of knowledge? That is observation and reasoning. Uh, reasoning sorry. Observation and reasoning, they are considered to be the foundation of knowledge. Reason holds that knowledge is acquired through observing the world and reasoning based on evidence. According to realism, the curriculum should be what? A. Flexible and based on students' interest. B. Centered around facts and the natural world. C. Focused on individual expression. D. Primarily spiritual. So, according to realism, the curriculum should be centered around facts and the natural world. Natural world as it is seen. A realist curriculum emphasizes factual knowledge and understanding of the natural world. What is the relationship between information and knowledge in realism? A. Information and knowledge are the same. B. Information is the raw data and knowledge is understanding its meaning. C. Knowledge comes first followed by information. D. Information is not valued in realism. So, what is the relationship between information and knowledge in realism? Information is the raw data and the knowledge is understanding its meaning, understanding the raw data in the practic uh, practical context, in a particular context, in a particular situation. So, in realism, knowledge involves understanding the relationships between pieces of information and drawing logical conclusions. Which of the following best defines the realism's approach to education? A. Idealistic and imaginative B. Practical and fact-based C. Emotional and intuitive D. Creative and open-ended So, which of the following best defines the realism's approach to education? That is practical and fact-based Realism emphasizes education that is grounded in reality and based on observable facts. How do realists view the natural world in relation to education? A. As a distraction. B. As a source of all knowledge, uh, the source of all true knowledge. C. As less important than imagination. D. As a myth. How do realists view the natural world in relation to education? It is the source of all true knowledge. The world, the natural world becomes the source of all true knowledge according to realism. Realists believe that knowledge comes from studying and understanding the natural world. 
which of the following best represents the realist view of wisdom a it is gained through mystical experiences b it is an innate trait quality it is the application of knowledge in practical situations d it is unrelated to knowledge so which of the following best represents the realist view of wisdom that is it is the application of knowledge in practical situations wisdom in realism is about using knowledge effectively in real life situations or context in realism which of the following is considered most important in education a fostering emotional growth b cultivating creativity c teaching objective facts d encouraging spiritual development so which of the following is considered most important in education that is teaching objective facts realism prioritizes or gives more importance to the teaching of objective facts that reflect the real world so realism prioritizes the teaching of objective facts that reflect the real world why are subjects like history important in a realist curriculum why history is important in realism a they help students develop creativity b they are based on imagination c they involve factual information about past events d they are not important in realism so what is the correct answer they provide factual information about past events history provides factual information about past events history deals with the facts and real events making it important in a realist education what is the realist perspective on the accumulation of information what is the realist perspective on the gathering of information yeah information is not important b information alone is sufficient for wisdom see information is necessary but must be understood in context in a situation information is more important than knowledge what is the realist perspective on the accumulation of knowledge that is information is necessary but must be understood in context realists believe that information must be organized and understood in order to become meaningful knowledge realists view the teacher as a facilitator of group discussions be provider of emotional support c guide to factual understanding d creator of abstract concepts realists view the teacher as a guide to factual understanding in realism teachers are experts who guide students in understanding the real world through facts and evidence so he becomes a guide to factual understanding which of the following is not emphasized in a realist educational philosophy not emphasized a yes, scientific inquiry b observation of the natural world c factual accuracy d abstract imagination so i'm sure by this time you will have uh, guess the correct answer the answer will be abstract um, imagination abstract imagination is not emphasized in a realist educational philosophy realism focuses on facts and observable phenomena rather than abstract imagination or creativity how does realism view philosophical subjects like metaphysics philosophical philosophical subjects like metaphysics that is abstract yeah as central to education b as less important than scientific subjects c as the foundation of all knowledge d as irrelevant so realism views philosophical subjects like metaphysics as less important than scientific subjects scientific subjects um, get more importance in realism not abstract philosophy so there is a very important point here in realism while metaphysical subjects may be included it can be included realists to give higher priority more importance to subjects grounded in observable reality like science realism promotes a critical thinking through a emotional reflection 
be a logical analysis and reasoning see creative storytelling de meditation so realism promotes a critical thinking through logical analysis and reasoning that's why they give importance to science realism encourages students to think critically by observing the world and using logic to analyze and understand it so logic logical analysis very important in realism the primary aim of a realist education is to ye yeah, develop the imagination of students focus on emotional well being prepare students for the practical realities of life encourage spiritual growth what is the correct answer the primary aim of realist education is to prepare students for the practical realities of life realist education aims to equip students with knowledge and wisdom that they can use to navigate and understand the real world which of the following best describes the realist view of knowledge a knowledge is a collection of random facts b knowledge is derived from observable and very verifiable truths c knowledge comes purely from abstract thought d knowledge is subjective and differs from person to person which is the uh, correct one which best describes the realist view of knowledge that is knowledge is derived from observable and verifiable truths knowledge is derived from observable and verifiable truths according to realism realism asserts that knowledge must be based on observable measurable and verifiable facts so knowledge must be based on observable measurable and verifiable facts the evidence should be checked you know so that that's why they give lot of importance to experiments so the realism asserts that knowledge must be based on observable measurable and verifiable facts what kind of activities would a realist educator most likely encourage in the classroom what kind of activities he will encourage he yeah, realist will encourage in the classroom a yeah, role playing and imaginative storytelling b observation experimentation and field work c artistic expression and abstract thinking d meditation and personal reflection so the realist which kind of activities a realist will promote in the classroom that is observation experimentation and field work these are the academic these are the activities he will promote in education any uh, realist so realist educators promote learning through real world experiences such as experiments and observations which involve direct interaction with objective reality so the realist educators promote learning through real world experiences such as experiments and observations which involve direct interaction with the objective reality external world in other words in the context of realism how is information distinguished from knowledge yeah information is subjective or knowledge is objective how they are different information is subjective knowledge is objective information is a raw data where knowledge involves understanding and organization of that data information is creative and knowledge is factual information and knowledge are exactly the same which is the right one information is a raw data where knowledge involves understanding and organization of that data realism sees information as a raw data while knowledge is the understanding and the interpretation of the data in context or in a particular situation what is the realist view of creativity in education a yeah, creativity is central and should be the focus of the curriculum be creativity is encouraged as long as it aligns with the real world experiences see creativity is irrelevant and unimportant the creativity should replace factual learning what is the realist view of creativity in education creativity is encouraged as long as it aligns with the real world experiences real world experience assume lot of importance importance in realism 
so creativity is encouraged or strong as it aligns with the real world experiences while realism focuses on factual knowledge creativity is also valued when it is grounded in reality and it is used to, to solve practical problems why do realists believe critical thinking is important in education yeah it encourages students to imagine alternative realities b it helps students understand and navigate the complexity the difficulties of the real world c it distracts students from learning facts d it promotes emotional expression so why do realists believe critical thinking is important in education because it helps students understand and navigate the complexities of the real world the difficulties of the real world so that is why critical thinking is promoted in realism education because this uh, critical thinking helps students understand and navigate the complexities of the real world dear friends thank you very much the most important questions we have analyzed uh, kindly go through all this i'm sure you will profit a lot the exam i don't know when it is going to be held but then you start preparing now itself and ask any help that i can do i am ready to cater to your needs at any moment god bless you abundantly thank you very much dear friends